All right, Ali. So how long have you been drifting? Well, that's really a tough question. Uh, seems like forever, to be honest with you, but to be completely honest, it's been just a little over a year and a half. Uh, I came from off-roading, <laughs> slashes, crawling, anything dirt-related. And, uh, yeah, the moment I came in here, I walked through those double doors and saw this place. Yeah, it didn't take long for me to get a drift car. I think within probably the first four hours I was here, I ended up buying one of the Red Cat RTRs off the shelf. Haven't turned back since. Uh, I've gotten so many RCs here, but uh, yeah, the drifting has been one that has stuck around. Normally, I go through my phases. I'm pretty sure everyone does. Drifting is something that has definitely kept me planted to the ground and kept me sane. Uh, everyone here tries to go through a drift car after drift car after drift car. I've been plenty happy with my Red Cat. Uh, it's been one heck of a journey with this car, honestly, knowing the fact that when Red Cat first came out, you know, Yokomo, MST, a few other companies have been in the scene for a while. Really wanted to take a chance on this chassis, and in the last year, year and a half that I've been driving, they finally come out with some of these upgrades for the chassis itself and the electronics that we carry in stock. This car has been a beast. Can't thank Dre enough for uh, doing the tunes. Joey, Pookie, a few other guys here at the shop. Uh, really love the family that I've come to come mingle with and make friends with all daily. Uh, Drifting is just something that I can't get away from, uh, whether it be video games at home, in my sleep, obviously here at the track with these RC cars. Uh, it's a great environment. People are great. Energy is just off the charts, amazing. I honestly find myself jonesing every time I'm not here. If I'm sitting at home on my butt or just not, you know, knocking anything out work-related, I'm wanting to be here at the track drifting. Uh, highly recommend it to anyone who's got you know, their doubt of whether or not they want to get back in RCs. Oh, you know, it's kind of childish and blah, blah, blah. No, no, you can be two years old. You can be 200 years old. You can play with RCs any size, any time. Um, just come to the shop. Come see what I'm talking about. This is my Red Cat RTR. I've got a few of Red Cat's aluminum upgrades down from the upper and lower arms down to the knuckles and the servo horn. I've done the Yokomo V3 servo and placement of the stock. Also swapped out the motor and ESC for the Onisinki 120 amp ESC and the Hobbywing D10 13.5 motor. Combos have been pretty good. I've been able to use the Hobbywing programmer to get the combination to actually do a few adjustments via the timing curve and boost. Still using the stock suspension. Uh, just swapped out the fluid for 15 weight oil. I'm running the LF4s uh, for the track that we're running at today here at the hobby shop. I've also added a few minor, just you know, touches here and there via the body and the lights. But other than that, my car is still fairly stocked down to the chassis and an upper top deck. Um, thanks to a few of the guys here at the shop, the car's been great and it's been definitely a menace on the track, as you can see here. Uh, competes with Shark, Yokomo, MST, GOM, Team Associated, and that's that's speaking up pretty highly for a Red Cat because usually they're mo mainly known for like off-roading or low riders, but this car's been great. I couldn't be happier with this purchase and the upgrades that have made it come this far. Definitely if you're looking at getting one in the future, don't hesitate to put your money into a Red Cat because uh, you won't be disappointed, as I'm sure not. So yeah, uh, not bad for a Red Cat in all honesty. Um, those few laps really could showcase what that car is capable of. Not really the best driver, uh, but as you can see, I mean, that car is very capable of getting around this track and actually hitting those zones and being competitive with some professional cars. Uh, once, once again, first and foremost, I want to thank the hobby shop, giving me the environment and honestly being as welcome as everyone has been to get into this hobby. Drifting wasn't really something that was on my radar until I walked in here. And I'm honestly never, never going to stop. It's been something that's really kept me grounded and kept me sane for a, a long time now. Even though it's been a year, year and a half, that's a long time of drifting continuously every single day, every single month. Um, Dre, Christian, a.k.a. Pookie, Joey, 
a few of the guys and girls that work here at the shop um, definitely got their hands on my car and have definitely got it squared away to something I didn't think I'd be able to get it to. Um, still constantly learning, getting advice, getting great tips from everyone. Uh, we had a small little drift thing tonight and the car was just dialed. I mean, we were all on point tonight and I couldn't be happier with the family and friends that I've gained here. Uh, if y'all want to get into drifting, highly recommend it. You're never going to be disappointed. You walk in a stranger, walk out a family member. Uh, if you have any questions, anyone here can get you answered away. Anyone here can help you out. We'll do anything in their power to get you on this track and get you having doors with the best of the best, if not the worst of the worst, that turn into the best of the best. Um, like I said before, two years old, 200 years old, doesn't matter. You'll always enjoy this. Have a great time. Um, come on in and check us out. Come get into drifting. You'll love it. Peace. Welcome to the Fox 7 News. Alex reporting. Merv has left the station. He's got to take a shit. Is your hair okay? Yeah, I would like to hope so. Yeah. Right. I need you, but... Oh, oh, oh. Son always needs his father. <laughs> what up, y'all? Malix? Semi? What? You think my finger game is good on that controller? You see what my tongue does late at night? <laughs> Awkward. Y'all ever seen a semi professional driver in a year? You're looking at one. You said you wanted it awkward. <laughs> oh, man. Year and a half. That's all it took. Go from bashing, off-roading, to <laughs> drifting. <laughs> I'm Alex. 30 years old. Got no life. No... <laughs> And I farted. <laughs>